Hello ladies and gentlemen, scare 2 here bringing you another Minecraft Forward 2 vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Messerschmitt ME262. The ME262 was the world's first operational jet powered fighter aircraft. Design work started before World War II even began, but problems with the engines and overall airframe kept the aircraft from operational status with the Luftwaffe, uh, Luftwaffe until mid-1944. The ME262 is faster and more heavily armed than any allied fighter including the British jet powered Glosser Meteor. One of the most advanced aviation designs in operational use during World War II, the ME262 roles included light bomber, uh, jet fighter, reconnaissance, and experimental night fighter versions. Uh, the ME262 pilots claimed a total of 542 aircraft, allied aircraft shot down, um, although sometimes uh, higher claims are made. The Allies countered this, its effectiveness in the air by attacking the aircraft on the ground and during takeoff and landing. Strategic material shortages and design compromises on the Junkers Jumo 004 axle flow turbojet engines led to reliability problems. Attacks by Allied forces on fuel supplies during the deteriorating late war situation also reduced the effectiveness of the aircraft as a fighting force. In the end, the MV262 didn't really have much impact on the course of the war as a result of its late introduction and consequently small numbers put in operational service. Uh, the MV262 is a beautiful uh, fighter if I you know, do say so myself. I think it's one of the uh, cooler ones from World War II for sure. And, you know, being the world's first jet fighter definitely is a very influential aircraft and basically started a new era really for fighters in general. Um, overall, a beautifully designed aircraft and everything like that. And it would have been um, interesting to see how well it would have done if it was introduced later on in the war. But I don't think we would have wanted that because it would, would have been absolutely devastating um, to Allied forces. Um, as we saw, 542 Allied aircraft shot down just in. Um, you know, mid-1944 to the end of the war. That's pretty crazy. Um, anyways, uh, going ahead and taking a uh, look at the aircraft overall. Um, it came out pretty good. I'm pretty uh, happy with it. I've actually had this design in my world for a little bit. Um, so it's been kind of sitting here waiting for a tutorial, and uh, it's finally good to get this uh, tutorial because you guys have been asking for it for quite a while. Um, anyways, uh, to get started, uh, we have the front nose here. Uh, pretty standard uh, nose um, with it. Nothing too crazy for it. Um, on the, you can see the fuselage for it. It's a little bit of a different type of fuselage. Um, most aircraft they kind of have like you know a nice kind of like sleek, uh, you know, you know fuselage. This one kind of has a widened um, area kind of around the midsection uh, where the cockpit is, which is definitely kind of unique for it. Um, it's kind of interesting too how it's designed, but I kind of like it actually. So it's got like a little bit of a widened part around the cockpit section right here. Moving back uh, toward the tail, um, nothing too fancy here. Just some markings on the side here. Um, you know, every little, some various little things there, um, nothing too fancy. And on the back we have our horizontal vertical stabilizers, again nothing too fancy. The cables that run from the, um, top, uh, the top vertical stabilizer to the uh, cockpit, uh, pretty simple, nothing too crazy there. And then we also have our uh, turbojet engines located on both sides here as you can see. Um, pretty simple design and again nothing too cool, fancy for those. Um, whatsoever. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much it for the overall design of the ME262. Of course, I'll be showing you guys how to do the landed version down below here as well. So if you are wanting to build this thing landed, you guys will have the opportunity to build it landed and uh, you can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like. It's uh, pretty simple. Um, anyways, so let's go ahead and start off uh, with uh, our first layer, which we're going to start off with layer two for this build and uh, we'll work our way down to layer one, then back up to layer three and all that fun stuff. So um, anyways, let's go ahead and move on to our first layer, layer one. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving on to our first layer, we're going to go ahead and start off with layer 2. The reason we're starting with layer 2 is just because it's going to be a little bit easier to add on layer 1 after we have this kind of main kind of structural bit um, kind of complete. So trust me, it'll be a little bit easier in the end for us just to go ahead and start off with layer 2. If you guys are completely new to my aircraft tutorials, the way I like to structure these is I like to do half on camera, half off. It makes the tutorial go by a little bit faster for myself and it also makes it so I can be more accurate in my block placement and I don't make any mistakes. Uh, basically what this means for you guys is I'll be building the center line of the aircraft in the right side. Uh, it is then up to you guys to copy what we do on the right side over to the left side. It's exactly symmetrical for this build. Anything that is asymmetrical I will let you guys know about but I don't think there is anything so you guys shouldn't really have to worry. Um, so uh, it will be pretty simple and pretty uh, basic to uh, figure out and everything and you'll see as we go along um, I'll explain a little bit better. Um, anyways, uh, we also want to make sure that if you want to make this thing landed, we'll be starting off with the in-flight version. So we're going to build this thing as if it was flying. Um, and if you want to build this thing landed, you will need to make sure that you have a certain amount of clearance for it. Uh, what this means is you'll need to have uh, two blocks of space, or basically two and a half blocks of space from the ground level. So you can see we have a row of top slabs here of quartz. 
you want to make sure that you have two blocks, <clears throat> two full blocks of space underneath the, the top slab from the ground. Um, very important, if you don't make sure that this is correct starting off here, you're going to go ahead and have your aircraft too high or too low um, to be sitting perfectly on the ground. So you need to make sure that that's correct. Um, anyways, once you're for sure that's correct, uh, we're going to start off by placing down a quartz top slab. Again, that's a two and a half blocks from the ground. Coming off the uh, top slab toward the front, we're going to place down two iron trap doors. That's going to get uh, go, again go toward the front of our aircraft. After that, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, and six more quartz top slabs going toward the rear of our aircraft, uh, basically back from this quartz top slab there. Um, so you have a total of a row of seven here. We then want to place down three iron trap doors. We're then going to need to place down a block that's kind of uh, floating above here like this, and we're going to place down an iron end rod coming off the bottom of the block like that on the very end, like so. Once you have that done, we're going to go and build out to our sides now. We're going to take iron trap doors, and we're going to start off with the first quartz top sub here at the front. We're going to place down an iron trap door, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, eight, and nine of these iron trap doors going back. So it should give you a total of ten of these um, iron trap doors along the side here. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go toward our front iron trap doors. Again, the front nose of our aircraft is this direction here. We're going to go ahead and go to the third iron trap door back. We're going to place down an iron trap door that comes out like this from it. We're going to go ahead and go back one, two, uh, three, four, uh, four, and uh, five back. So you have another row here. It ends two before the rear here, and it has a, uh, two blocks that stick out there on the front. So you can see here, in total, you have a row of six. Um, after that we have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a narrow iron trap door come off this one right here. So it's going to come out like that. It's going to go ahead and go back a total of four. So one, two, three, and four back like that. We then want to go ahead and go to our second iron trap door from the front here. In this row, we're going to place down an iron trap door coming off of it. Fall by three more back. One, two, and three back like so. So you should get something that kind of looks like this. And you're going to go ahead and take that same design over here on the right side and flip it over to the left side. And you'll be good to go with that. Anyways, once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and go to this side here. We're going to place down a row of four of quartz full blocks coming off those iron trap doors like so. We then want to grab ourselves mossy cobblestone walls. We're going to place down one and two mossy cobblestone walls going back and one and two going toward the front. After that's done, we're going to grab ourselves black wool and we're also going to grab ourselves a wither skeleton skull. We want to go ahead and take black wool. We're going to place down a row of six of black wool in the center here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you should have one mossy cobblestone wall sticking out on both sides. We also want to take a wither skeleton skull, we're going to place it down on either end, on both ends of the uh, uh, row of black wool like that across. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and take our mossy cobblestone walls, we're going to place down one coming off this black wool block on the end here, followed by one coming off this wither skeleton skull. Same thing up here in the front, just like this. On the sides, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some green hardened stain clay, and also some quartz full blocks again, we're going to place down a green hardened stain clay block on both sides connecting to the mossy cobblestone walls, and then a row two of quartz uh, full blocks like that for your turbo jets and you're gonna go and do the same thing on both sides there so in the end you should get something that kind of looks like this so take our right side over here flip it over to the left side and you'll be good to go for layer two with that we're gonna work our way down to layer one and then work our way back up to layer three so with that let's go ahead and move on to layer one all right guys moving on to layer one as i mentioned layer one super simple so we're gonna do it all pretty much in one go here now all we need to do really is just go ahead and go to the bottom of the wither skeleton skulls and the black wool blocks here on the engines we're gonna go and place down a row of what is going to be a row of eight of quartz top subs along the bottom here we then want to go and go to the full blocks here so we have the green stain clay and also the quartz full blocks we're gonna place down a row of four of iron trap doors on the bottom of those blocks same thing over here just like that and that's pretty much all we're going to be doing. Uh, pretty simple, I know. It's just a lot easier to start off with layer 2, as you can kind of see. We have a nice thing to go off of and makes this layer a lot easier instead of having to count it out and make sure we don't, um, you know, make any mistakes or anything like that along the way of counting. So, same thing like that on both sides like so. So, you should get something that looks like that for the base of your engines there. That's it for layer 1. And uh, just a quick reminder, this should be a total of a block and a half off the ground. Um, so, you guys can just go and double check those counts again to make sure that they are correct. Anyways, that's going to do it for uh, layer one. With that, let's move on to layer three. All right, guys, so layer three is going to be a bit more in. <clears throat> All right, guys, so layer three is going to be a little bit more, um, you know, longer. It's going to be a little bit more in depth than our previous few layers here. We're going to be basically putting the wings on and also uh, building a really good portion of our fuselage. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so to get started, we're going to place down a quartz full block on top of this iron trap door that sticks on the very end here, like this. We're going to place down a quartz full block on top of it. We then want to place down one more quartz block after this, so it sticks out one past this iron trap door right here, and then we're going to place down a quartz top side on the very end of it. We want to go back to this quartz full block here on top of this iron trap door. We're going to place down a row of 
uh, what is going to be a row of 12 of quartz full blocks going back from this um, quartz full block right here. So in total, you should have a row of what would be 14 uh, quartz full blocks in total going back from this top slab. This quartz full block should end on top of this, <clears throat> this end rod on the very end here. So make sure that that lines up and that um, connects up at that point right there. <clears throat> After that's done, we're then going to place down a sandstone top slab coming up this quartz full block. Fall by one, two, and three quartz top slabs after it, fall by two iron trap doors like that for the back there. After that is all finished there, we want to go ahead and uh, then start working our way out to the sides. So for this, we're going to place down a dark liquid top slab on both sides of this um, quartz full block here. We're then going to go and take dark liquid stairs, we're going to place down a dark liquid upside down stair um, coming off the second quartz full block back. And then we're going to place down a dark liquid corner stair. Um, upside down coming off of it like that so we should get a shape that looks something like that on the side after we have that done we're going to take our green stain clay we're going to place down one two three four five six seven and eight green stain clay blocks back we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves black wool we're going to place down one and two black wool blocks going back we then want to place down a quartz upside down stair coming off the black wool block like that upside down followed by a um, sandstone top slab coming off the quartz upside down stair once we have that done we're going to go, and go up um, to the front section up here again we're going to go to our first two green stain clay blocks here. We're going to place down two mossy cobblestone walls coming off of them. We then want to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six um, green stain clay blocks back, followed by a row of one and two cobblestone walls going back as well. After that's uh, done there, uh, we then want to go ahead and go to our wings here. So we're going to start to end our wing section. For this, we're going to go on top of these iron trap doors. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five dark oak wood slabs going back, followed by a spruce wood slab on the end. We then want to go and go ahead and go again to these iron trap doors, kind of building on top of them. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, and four dark oak wood slabs, followed by a spruce wood slab on the end there. After that's done, we're going to go to the top of this quartz full block right here. We're going to place down one, two, and three dark oak wood um, slabs going back, followed by a uh, spruce wood slab and we're also going to place down a zombie head at a 45 degree angle so something kind of like that after that's done we're going to go and place down a green carpet on top of this wither skeleton skull right here fall by a total of one two three four five and six and seven uh, dark oak wood slabs going toward the front like so for the top of the engine there um, after that's done, we're going to go and grab ourselves some dark oak wood stairs. We're also going to need a spruce wood uh, stair as well. We're going to go on top of this quartz full block. We're going to place down a dark oak wood stair, followed by a second one after it, and then followed by a spruce wood stair. Like that to follow it up. And we also want to go and grab ourselves an Arab zombie head, and we're going to place it down at a 45 degree angle on top of this mossy cobblestone wall. Like that on both sides, so you get something that looks like that so far for the wing. Like so. Um, after we have that done, we're going to go and take our uh, quartz... Uh, upside down stairs as well. We're going to need to grab some of those. We're going to place down a row of two of coming off the back of those two upside down, or uh, the side of those two regular dark oak wood stairs. And we also want to grab ourselves a spruce wood stair. We're going to place down a spruce wood upside down stair coming off the back of that spruce wood stair there. Once we have that done, we're going to go and grab ourselves quartz slabs again. Uh, we're going to go and place down a quartz slab coming off the second quartz stair, so right here, and a spruce wood slab after it. After we have that done, we're going to place down another quartz slab coming off this one right here. And then one go one going back and then an air spruce wood slab after it like so again after that we're gonna place down one and two quartz uh, slabs come off those two right there and an air spruce wood slab like that we then want to place down one quartz slab come off this quartz uh, slab right here so we have an indent from the front there followed by a spruce wood slab again and then we just want to place down a row of two of quartz slabs along these um these spruce wood slabs like so now, once you have that done, on the left side, we do have one thing that's different. We're going to place down a end rod that is going to be coming off this quartz top slab on the very tip here of the wing. Um, and that's going to be on the left side. So not on the right side, just on the left side. Once you have that complete, that is going to do it for layer number three. And with that, let's go ahead and move on to layer four. All right, guys. So moving on to our next layer, we have layer four. Layer four, we're going to go and start off by placing down a green carpet on top of this um quartz top slab on the very front nose of the aircraft we then want to place down one and two dark oak wood slabs back followed by a row of 12 of green stain clay back from this dark oak wood slab so again a row of 12 going back we then want to place down a smooth sandstone full block in the center here followed by one two three and four green stain clay blocks going back and then we're going to place down a spruce wood plank that should end on top of this last um, iron trap door 
We're going to place down a stone button on the side of the plank that's facing toward the very back of the aircraft. And we also want to place down a sign on both sides of the spruce wood plank like so. Um, after that's done, we're going to go back up to our front here. We're going to place down a zombie head at about a 45 degree angle on top of this dark oak with top slab. Going back from that zombie head, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab. We then want to place down a dark oak wood stair facing this direction like so. After this dark oak wood stair, we're going to place down another stair facing this direction here. So we turn this stair into a corner stair and then we have a regular stair here. And then come off this regular stair, we're going to place down a dark oak wood corner stair like so. Going back from that corner stair, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, and six. Green stain clay blocks going back, followed by one and two black wool uh, blocks. We then want to place down a dark oak wood stair, followed by a sandstone stair, and then we're going to place down a row of one, two, and three mossy cobblestone walls going back like so. Um, after that's done, we're going to go to our next row out to the side here. So we're going to grab zombie heads. We're going to place down a zombie head at about a 45 degree angle um, on top of this second mossy cobblestone wall. Um, after that, we're going to place down one and two zombie heads going back followed by one and two dark oak which actually my bad three dark oak with slabs going back we're then going to place down a zombie head we need to grab ourselves a wither skeleton skull we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull at about a 45 ish degree angle um like that on both sides after we have uh that done the next thing for us to do is pretty much go out to the wings uh for this we're just gonna go ahead and grab green carpet and place it down on top of all of our quartz blocks here on the uh, tip of the wing there just like that once you guys have that complete, that's going to do it for layer four. With that, let's go ahead and move on to layer five. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving on to our next layer, we go ahead and move on to layer uh, five. So for layer five, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by going to our fourth green stain clay block back. So right here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab back on top of it, followed by a second dark oak wood slab. We then want to go ahead and take our um, light gray stained glass uh, paints here, or full blocks, we're going to place down a row of three going back followed by a nether brick stair and then a dark wood slab. Going out to the sides here of the cockpit, we're going to go and grab ourselves light gray stained glass panes. We're going to place down one, two, and three along these three light gray stained glass full blocks. We also want to place down a dark wood slab on top of this green stained clay block here next to this nether brick stair. We're going to go ahead and also grab ourselves a zombie head, put it at about a 45-ish degree angle. Um, actually, my bad, more of like a 30 uh, degree. So just like that on both sides there, um, just like that. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some green carpet, which will go on top of these um, uh, black wool blocks as well, which um, should be on both of those versions there. Um, after we have that done, we're going to place down a end rod on top of this green stain clay block. So it's a, basically a space back from the slab here. We're going to place down it right here on this green stain clay block. We also want to place down a iron bar on top of this green stain clay block here. Uh, we're then going to place down a dark oak wood slab after the end rod, followed by two green stink wood blocks, and then a spruce wood plank. Spruce wood plank is going to have a stone button on the side facing toward the back of the plane, just like that. We want to go ahead and go back up here to the first um, the uh, first uh, green stink wood block. We're going to place down one and two quartz top slabs out to the side. We're going to go to the second one, place down one, two, three, and four quartz top slabs out to the side. And then we're also going to grab ourselves spruce wood um, slabs again. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, and four out to the side followed by a quartz top slab so you get something that kind of looks like that from up above um once you have that done i believe that's it for layer just want to double check it looks like that is going to do it for uh, layer five with that uh we're going to move on to our last final layers which are basically going to include uh layers uh six seven and eight we're going to go and put our final layers on and it'll be up to us to move on to the uh landing gear so with that let's go ahead and move on to our last final layers layers six through eight Alright guys, so moving on to our final layers, layers 6 through 8. Uh, so to get started, we're going to go ahead and place down a nether brick slab on top of the uh, middle light gray stained glass block in this row 3 here. So just a dark oak wood, or sorry, a nether brick slab on top. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves stone slabs. We're going to place down a stone slab on top of this um, nether brick stair right there. We then want to place down a nether brick top slab coming off of it, like so at an angle, followed by a second top slab. We're then going to go ahead and go up at an angle again, place down a stone slab. Uh, we would then want to go up again, place down a stone top slab. So you get something that kind of looks like this so far. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, row of two here of stone slabs across. We're then going to go ahead and go up at an angle again, place down another stone um, top slab like that. So you get something that looks just like this. And we then want to go ahead and take our end rods or iron bars. We're going to place down one. And two more iron bars on top of this one right here to kind of create an air cable and connect up to that right there. After that's all complete, we're going to go and grab ourselves green stain clay. We're going to place down a row of, uh, or basically a green stain clay block on top of this one right here. 
followed by a black wool block after it. Um, we then want to go ahead and also place down a spruce wood plank on the end here. We're going to place down a stone button on the back uh, or the back side of it and then on also signs on either side. Uh, we're also going to grab ourselves some green carpet. We're going to place down green carpet on top of all these quartz top slabs for the horizontal stabilizers. So just like this on top of them all like that. After that's complete there, we want to go ahead and then place down a green stinkway block on top of this black uh, wool block just like that. We're also going to place down a narrow spruce wood. Uh, plank directly behind it. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing we've been doing signs on both sides and also a stone button like that on the back. Um, once that's done right there, we're then going to place down two dark oak wood stairs back to back on top of those that spruce wood plank and green stinkway block to finish off the back vertical stabilizer. Once you guys have that complete, that's going to do it for the MA262. If you guys want to build a landed version, we're going to go ahead and move on to that. Um, if you guys are just here for the in flight version, then you guys are pretty much good to go. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the landed version. Alright guys, so going ahead and making the landed version of the ME262. Uh, it's overall pretty simple to make these additions. We just need to break a few parts of the fuselage here and there to make these wheels uh, basically fit. So to get started, we're going to work on our front wheel first. Um, it's overall pretty simple. Um, so what we're going to do to start off with is we're going to go ahead and break this iron trap door right here. We're going to place down a cobblestone wall that comes down from it. We then want to break this iron trap door after it, followed by the quartz full block um, right after it. So you break that right there. We're also going to break this quartz top slab and this quartz full block right in there. Um, in this space right here, we're going to place down a row two of quartz top slabs on the bottom to create kind of the wheel well we we'll fold up into. Um, we also uh, want to go ahead and grab ourselves some quartz uh, stairs. We're going to place down a row of cord stairs upside down on the side here. So we're going to break this iron trap door on the side, only on the right side and on the left side. We're going to place down a quartz upside down stair, followed by a second one after it for the door that opens up to expose the front landing wheel. After that's complete, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair with its back facing toward the left of the aircraft. Yes, we want to the left of the aircraft. Uh, we're then going to place down a black wool block um, on the bottom, or a uh, black, which should be a black coal block. Don't know why he used uh, wool for that. Let me go ahead and uh, we adjust this real quick so we're going to use a block of coal for the uh, wheel and we're just going to place down stone buttons on both sides of it so just like this we're going to go over here and do the same thing so just like that a uh, block of coal stone buttons on both sides after that's uh, done right there that is nearly it we have one last thing we're just going to put a skeleton skull on the back here of this stone brick upside down stair once you have that done that's it for the front wheel let's go ahead and move on to the rear wheels Alright guys, so moving on to the rear wheels of the landing gear. Now, the rear wheels are pretty simple. We're just going to do one side, then you guys can copy the other side over like we did for most of the tutorial. So, uh, for the landing gear on the rear here, we're going to go ahead and look at this row of um, quartz top zaps in layer 2. You have this row on the belly of the aircraft, just like this. We're going to go back to the last quartz top zap where the quartz top zap goes closest to the tail. We're going to break the iron trap doors uh, basically next to the first one right here and the second one like that. We then want to break down, break these two iron trap doors um, next to it as well. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and break these green stinkway blocks in the space. We have a nice two by two kind of square cut out. And we will have this little slit shown right here um, to the outside. Now in this space, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of two of some um, a dark oak wood stairs. And then we can place down a row of two of quartz stairs. And these dark oak wood stairs, we have to place just because we have that space you can see on the outside there and placing down a row of two of quartz stairs doesn't really look right um, but you guys can obviously feel free to do uh, whatever you kind of please there in that um, location like that um, anyways after we have that done we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves cobblestone walls we're going to go and, uh, basically skip this space right here and we're going to place down a row of two of cobblestone walls come off these two quartz full blocks here that connect up to the engine um, with that done we're going to take our um, Quartz stairs, we're going to place down an upside down quartz stair on the bottom of each of these cobblestone walls or with their backs to each other, so something like that. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves narrow brick stairs. We're going to place down two narrow brick stairs that are going to be coming off these quartz upside down stairs toward the inside of the aircraft. And we also just want to go ahead and place down two uh, upside down narrow brick stairs on the bottom of those stairs like that for the landing gear. Once you guys have that all complete there, that's going to do it. Um, you'll take that, that wheel right there, flip it over to the other side, and you guys will be good to go. Um, anyways, that's right there is going to do it for the landed version and uh, the in-flight version of the ME262. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this design. If you guys do end up using this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This may think from a sound build to my channel or this video. If this does appear in social media sites, just be sure you get proper credit for it. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting these types of videos. So as long as you guys give me credit, you're free to use it for projects you guys are working on. 
And with that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Miguel 204, and I'll see you guys next time.